since my last video where I was using Opera as my main browser on my MacBook, I've got a lot of questions asking why I choose Opera or is it even worth using? And I'm not gonna lie, I had those same exact questions too. It was all because of my trip to England with Opera. I have learned so much about the browser and I realized how much Opera takes the users into consideration with the design. So I've been using Opera 1 R2 for over a couple months now and here's why I only use Opera as my main browser on my devices. What's going on guys, it's your boy Shivan here back with another video and today's video is going to be a little bit different because we're going to really dive deep into the Opera browser itself and talk about all the new features, their latest new AI innovations, new dynamic themes, their new improvements for tab management and basically why I really like Opera and why I even really made the switch. So first off, why did I switch to Opera? and Personally, I just felt like I just got tired of using my previous browsers. I felt like there wasn't any real customization options to make it feel, you know, like it's really mine. Now, the new user interface has been polished on here, and I just love how sleek and modern everything looks. It's super easy to customize down to the background and colors detail just to match my overall aesthetics. Secondly, I found that Opera was just way more stable. It was way more um, efficient when using like whenever I'm opening multiple apps, it used less RAM, which is really good. It never froze on me, didn't crash on me, which I thought was very impressive, honestly. The third reason for me is that it's Chromium based, super important, right? So this means it's just much more compatible with a lot of different websites, and it just has way more flexibility when I'm browsing overall. Chromium, if you didn't know, is basically a open source browser platform that provides a safer, more stable way to experience the web, and some browsers that's not Chromium based just just has a hard time loading specific content, which kind of sucks. So I'm happy that I could use Opera without worrying about any hiccups while I'm browsing. Also, since it's Chromium based, I have endless access to all my favorite extensions, like my, one of my favorite ones that I use called TubeBuddy. And this just helps me optimize and organize my YouTube channel to reach a wider audience. Okay, now let's talk about some of my favorite features. All right, so this is like the main reason why you want to get Opera because they thrive when it comes to these web browsing features, man. It's actually crazy. So the tab management system has just become so much more flexible. As someone who's researching a lot, I tend to have tons of tabs running all the time. Opera made it easy to group tabs and be more efficient whenever I'm working. For example, they have this thing called Tab Islands. It's there to group your tabs based on context so you could declutter your browser and have a cleaner, more organized look. You could either let Opera automatically create those tab islands for you, or you could highlight each tab, right click, and then select Create Tab Island. Super simple, but a very useful feature. Next up, we have Tab Traces. So this feature automatically works in the background. So your recently visit tabs will have like traces left under them so you could easily track them with a subtle visual trace so there would be like a little underscore under each tab the brighter the underscore the more recent it was used so if you're someone who has tons of tabs open over 30 tabs you will enjoy this feature next up the split screen view. Now this split screen feature allows you to work more efficiently if you need to have two tabs side by side. All you have to do is highlight both tabs, right click and choose the create split screen and then boom, you have two tabs. You could run them at the same time. You can also enable split screen by dragging one tab into the other and then resize it to your liking. Now something small but very fun also is tab emojis. If you have trouble finding specific tabs, you could easily make them stand out with emojis emojis it just adds a fun and personal touch to your tabs to again you know make yourself more organized while browsing to enable this you just need to hover over any tab and then select the emoji you want to use and then you could change or remove it the same way super simple but I like this feature. There's also new features over the sidebar where you could have quick access to your favorite apps like Messenger, WhatsApp, Twitter, just to name a few, or you could control your media player right from here as well. My streaming service of choice is Spotify. I could just hover over the Spotify music player to skip my tracks, dive into the Spotify app right from here. Now, the cool thing about this feature is that if I ever hop into a Zoom call or start playing video on YouTube, it automatically pauses the music on Spotify. If I pause the YouTube video, it plays the music. If I play the YouTube video, it pauses the background music. 
that's clutch. You could also freely move the music player or video player inside and outside of the browser window as well, which offers just more flexibility and convenience while browsing. So let's say if you're, for example, on YouTube watching one of my day in the life videos, but you open another tab, the YouTube video will pop out and still continue playing. So you never miss an action. You could also place that pop out video wherever you want, make it translucent, resize it, turn it off completely. It's all up to you. I think that's very useful. Now, when it comes to AI with this new browser update, I could take advantage of several features with AI with a more powerful command line interface, Aria. They have browsers assistant, that's what it's called. It could quickly summarize web pages, analyze articles, or even help me compare products while shopping online. So by clicking command and plus button, it will bring up the command line while browsing. I personally set my command line prompt to command plus shift plus A. And from here, you could now ask questions, do calculations, just challenge Aria to anything. My favorite feature here is that if you press tab while you have the command line open, you could quickly summarize the entire web page and get all the important details without reading all the articles. Now, don't get me wrong, I love reading, but for sometimes, you know, this saves a lot of time and I find this very useful. Now, when you dive deeper into Aria on the sidebar, you can do things like generate images, create desktop wallpapers from those image generations, or get Aria to recognize images. So if you upload an image to the chat, just ask Aria about the image and you will get answers. So yeah, there you have it, guys. Those are some of the main reasons why I've made Opera 1 R2 my go-to browser from the incredible tab management features to the powerful AI integration with Aria. Opera has really thought about what users need in modern day browsers and I think they've nailed it. If you're feeling stuck with your current browser or just want to try something new that's both powerful and customizable, I highly recommend giving Opera 1 R2 a shot. The features covered today are just a you know just scratching the surface of what this browser could do so if you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop a like i'll leave the first link down below also to download opera one r2 if there's anything i missed or i didn't touch upon or you're curious about the browser leave those comments and questions down below as always guys love peace and tweaks signing out thanks for watching